The topic of loading and discharging of bulk cargoes has been covered by me in a series of videos. So please uh, watch all the videos along with this video to have a good understanding of uh, the precautions and procedures and the legal requirements for carrying this cargo. So I'll give you the links to those videos as well below uh, and I hope you will watch all those videos. Today I'll just talk about the precautions and preparations uh, for general bulk cargoes. I will cover specific cargoes like sulfur and all that in my other videos. So some of the general preparations and precautions before you carry bulk cargo. Uh, include uh, cargo space to be inspected uh, for the particular cargo which is intended to be loaded because if you have carried a different cargo previously make sure that uh, you carry out a thorough inspection especially because some cargos may be incompatible with each other even though the cargo may have been discharged the old cargo some of the residues remaining could react with the new cargo that is to be loaded. Uh, master to ensure that bilge lines, sounding pipes and other service lines within cargo spaces should be in good condition and working order. Uh, some high density cargos uh, are loaded with high velocity and the impact may cause damage to cargo space fittings which should be protected. And this cargo could be something like uh, timber cargos or steel coils. They are all high density cargos and if loaded with high speed and not monitored properly can cause serious damage. Also it will be advisable to sound the bilges after the completion of the loading to ensure that the whole bilges are absolutely clean, there is no water residue remaining or there is no leakage of water coming in from any cargo. The bilge wells and strainers should be specially prepared which may involve cleaning of the bilges, cement washing, and sweetening to facilitate drainage and to prevent entry of materials into the build system. Additionally, in practice, uh, burlap piece and burlap you can see it on the screen as well on the right side of the screen is uh, the example of burlap. It is put in addition to the perforated manhole. So burlap is put to the manhole because the reason is that uh, if any water is there then it will seep through this burlap and be pumped out or it can be seeped in but if there are any residues of cargo then it will get stuck in this burlap and it will not go into the bilge system or block the bilge system or it will also not block the bilge and it will allow easy pumping out of the bilges that is why burlaps are often used in practice because it allows the water to flow in and out but does not allow any cargo to get into the bilge pumping out system. Uh, finally, moving parts of deck machinery and external navigation aids such as the magnetic compass, compass repeaters, radar scanners, antennas may be affected by dust um, coating and precautions should be taken to minimize this. So all these things should be kept covered because most of these bulk cargos uh, when loaded in bulk of course can also carry dust with it. Uh, whenever possible, make sure that the ventilation systems are shut down or screen and aircon systems or air conditioning systems should be placed on recirculation during the cargo work. And this is done in order to minimize any dust from entering into the accommodation spaces or any interior spaces of the ship. So I have covered general precautions here. Uh, this is not a comprehensive explanation of precautions to be taken when carrying bulk cargo because sometimes different cargos require different uh, requirements they have different requirements like i said before i will be covering some of these cargos in the separate videos so you are advised to watch those videos as well to have a good understanding on special precautions uh, specific to uh, certain cargos bye for now